delicious crab cakes with cream corn and sodium asparagus. Now, the most important thing about making an amazing crab cake is shape it, form it the night before, set it in the fridge so it gets nice and firm. That way, when we flour, egg wash, breadcrumb it, it retains its shape. Lightly season your crab cake, salt, pepper. From there, place it into the flour, lightly dust it with flour, round the outside as well, shake off any excess flour, and then into your egg. Take your fish slice, flip it over, coat with that egg. The egg is the sticking agent that brings those breadcrumbs together. Lift again, drain off any excess, and then into your flour. Press the breadcrumbs into there. Roll all the breadcrumbs round, back onto your board, and just pat down the breadcrumbs. Shape it again. By pushing in these breadcrumbs, it stops them from burning when it hits the pan. Most important thing is, underneath that flour egg wash breadcrumb, we seasoned it. So now it's ready for the pan. Hot pan on. The secret now is to get it golden brown. Start off with a touch of olive oil. Don't get it too hot. We don't want to get it too dark. Crab cake into the pan. Another light seasoning, just a touch. So we've got seasoning underneath and on top of the breadcrumbs. Really important. We're going to color the crab cake, both sides, roll it over, and then add the butter. As that butter starts to froth, it starts to color the side of my crab cake. Roll it round, tilt the pan, and baste. Once you've got the color on that crab cake, take it out of the pan, drain it, and then back into the dry pan and literally into the oven. That gets the crab cake nice and crisp on the outside and nice and warm in the middle. Right, cream corn, teaspoon of olive oil, onions in, white onions, super strong, really tasty and great with the corn. Spread off the onions first. Touch of butter. I love starting off in olive oil and then a touch of butter and that stops the butter from burning. More importantly, it starts to roast those onions off. A little touch of chopped garlic in. Now, once those onions have changed color, you want them to go a little bit more sort of translucent. Look, they just start to go a nicer, sort of light caramelized texture. From there, in with your corn. Touch of salt, touch of pepper. In order to get a lot of flavor in that cream corn, toast it a little bit. Keep it on the stove for about three and a half to four minutes so it toasts the corn. Once we've got the color on that corn, look at it now. Look what's happened. Onions have disappeared, garlic caramelized, and now it's time for the cream. Mmm. And this is where the cream corn effect comes into play. Turn that down and let that simmer. So let that cream corn sit there. As it sits, it absorbs that cream and those kernels pop. I mean, you've got this wonderful, delicious texture. So that's gonna cook out for about two minutes. Asparagus. I've never been a big lover of boiling the asparagus. So for me, I love soaking them, season them nicely, salt, pepper, and then get the pan piping hot and literally blister into the pan with nothing in there first. Lay them down and toast them. Once you've sort of dry roasted them, the pan starts to smoke, roll them around. And all you do now is drying out the skins. So when I put the olive oil in there, they blister immediately. And they take about 45 seconds each side. And you'll see the skins blistering away. That's the color there. Turn the gas down and a touch of butter. Take your parmesan and lightly grate parmesan over that asparagus. Beautiful. And then from there, your lemon zest. The asparagus is sort of cheesy, citrusy. I mean, it's just a great way of eating asparagus. Amazing. My corn's come down. I've got that sort of caramelized look. The cream's evaporated and it's got this nice, rich texture, almost like an amazing sauce. I want to lift that now finely sliced scallions and just let the scallions sit on top of the corn. Crab cake out of the oven, crisp on the outside. You should hear that, nice and crisp. And now to plate. Take that cream corn straight on. Take your asparagus, lift them up, place them top of your corn. Lift up the crab cake, sit that on. And now, finish that with a touch of olive oil dotted around the outside. And then finally, a fresh squeeze of lemon juice. Blend that into the olive oil. It's almost like making an amazing vinegar on the plate. And then we have a delicious crab cake with cream corn and incredibly toasted asparagus.